Hello and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today it's my monthly feature where I make 10 cards using the Make Card Kit by Simon Says Stamp. There is a giveaway for this card kit on my blog, make sure to visit and enter your details and you will find down below links to all the supplies separately since this card kit is already sold out. I'm going to show you what's included in the kit, but uh, to keep in mind that you will also get this heart die, which is uh, the word and the shadow of it. I didn't get it because I get my kit way earlier than everybody else, and that die wasn't included yet. I was expecting for it to arrive, but it never did, so I finally decided to make the 10 cards without using this die. So keep that in mind. Now you get a lovely pearlescent envelope, as you can see, this is by Simon Says Tab, and it's a great sample if you want to buy your envelopes from there. You also get a couple of ink cubes in lovely colors that uh, match perfectly all the colors of the card kit. You get three grey card bases, they are pre-cut and pre-scored, these are the standard card sizes, that's four and a quarter by five and a half. All you have to do is to just use your bone folder and uh, fold them in half. Now in the kit there are two stamp sets, a smaller and a larger one. This is the smallest one, which is called Take Heart. It's a lovely one with a bunch of flowers and a little hummingbird, along with sentiments, and it is available separately as well. And here is the largest stamp set. This is called um, Everything Together with these lovely sentiments in a beautiful handwriting and uh, some flowers and leaves, so you can create your own flower compositions. Now in the kit there is also a masking paper, as you can see you just peel this off, it is great for so many different techniques. The kit was packed with things this month, so you get these uh, epoxy stickers, a bunch of hearts, and you also get these puffy stickers, so many of them. They are all from uh, Pink Fresh Studio, from their uh, Let Your Heart Decide collection. And there are also 6x6 pattern papers in beautiful colors and designs, all matching together. Now, although this kit has been sold out already, you can get whatever you see separately from the shop. And these are the three colors of cardstock that you get. I used these to create my card bases, so I ended up with six from these cardstocks. I have three from the gray ones that I showed you in the beginning, and I added one more from my stash in white, so I ended up with ten card bases ready to go. Now I'm working on my first card. I'm stamping with Versamark ink, and I did that a couple of times just to make sure that uh, I get a nice impression because I'm working on a watercolor paper. I am adding my white embossing powder, and I'm going to heat set it. And I'm going for a resist technique today, just because these sentiments are nice and big and bold, they are great for stamping them on top of uh, really busy or very colorful backgrounds. So I'm going to use three Distress Oxide inks here, and you can see the colors on your screen right now. I'm going to blend these colors on my paper, and again remember that I'm working on watercolor paper. And by using this idea and uh, the different sentiments from the stamp set, you can create quickly and easily a bunch of different cards, perfect for many different occasions. And of course you can use your favorite color combos. Now I'm adding some uh, water splashes in uh, different areas. This is going to react with the Distress Oxide ink. I'm going to dab it with a cloth and I get a lovely effect for the background. I'm sticking this panel on top of my white card base, and as you can see the panel is slightly smaller than the standard card, which gives a finished look. And I'm going to finish off my card by adding three hearts from the epoxy stickers. Remember that I also add photos of the finished cards at the end of the video, as well as on my blog. So let's move on to the second card. For this one I'm going to have some fun with stamping. I'm using the large stamp set from the kit and uh, I'm not going to add any new inks in the kit. I'm just going to work with what's included. So I'm using the blue and uh, the orange here to do my stamping. I will be using the orange one which is called Melon for stamping the flowers and the blue which is called uh, Spring Rain I will be using it for the leaves. I'm going to stamp uh, a bunch of uh, all these images here to create a lovely composition, but I am going to make sure that I leave enough white space to stamp one of the sentiments. There are also uh, three little dots in the stamp set which I am using to fill in uh, the white spaces. 
Now with black ink, I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the space that I left there. And I went with a sentiment that says you are simply the best ever. But again, this design is so versatile, so you can create a bunch of cards using all the different sentiments from the stamp set. And as you can see on my stamping platform, I have added some uh, repositionable uh, tape. So I don't really need to use my magnets. Everything sticks nicely there. I can stamp and nothing moves on me. I'm going to use the orange card base for this panel, but of course you can use the blue one since everything matches nicely. And uh, as you can see again, the panel is slightly smaller, so I get a lovely border. Now of course you can use uh, stickles on top of it, you can use um, sequins, whatever you like, uh, to embellish your card a little bit more. I decided to go with uh, white Nouveau drops and add some dots at the center of the flowers. Moving on to the third card, I'm working with the adorable stamps from the Take Heart stamp set, which is the smallest included in the kit. And this is really economical, you can grab it if you like separately. It uh, is going to guarantee you lots of fun using uh, different mediums to color it and making really beautiful cards. I really love those uh, flowers and the hummingbird on top. I stamped the flowers one more time on the masking paper and I am creating a mask here. I'm not going to cut all around it, I just need the bottom of this mask. I'm going to peel it off and stick it on top of uh, my stamp. And now I'm going to do some inking and uh, I need to ground these uh, flowers somehow. So I'm using this masking tape to create a line. And from the first card I had these blending tools on my table, so without even uh, touching the ink pads again, I'm just using what's left on them. To ink up the bottom, I'm going to peel off and you can see that I get a lovely line. Now I'm going to repeat the same process, but this time I'm going to ink up from the bottom towards the top, and this time I'm going to use some... Um, broken china and just because I want to have a very light uh, application of color I'm just using a blending brush these are not available yet I believe but if you are a subscriber of the Simon's Stamp Card Kit you should have one I have stamped everything on a watercolor paper and this gives me the opportunity to use any watercolor medium that I like I decided to go with my watercolor pencils these are new by Nuvo by Tonic Studios I am just applying the color on my card and then I will be using a wet brush to move the color and blend it nicely. One of the things that I love about using watercolor pencils is that they give you lots of control. Also make sure that you don't press the pencil too much otherwise you won't be able to move the color. Just apply light layers, move them with your brush and then apply another layer if you need to. Now I've colored everything and I have also stamped a couple of flowers one more time and colored them again. You can stick them wherever you like to make your bouquet look more um, full or you can just uh, stick them on top of the other flowers underneath. Just to give some dimension on my card. Now finally I'm going to stamp the sentiments from the same little stamp set. I have used the grey card base for this card and I added some uh, clear dots at the center of my flowers. For the next card, I'm working with this beautiful pattern paper. I'm working with two dies, placing them one inside the other. And you see that after running it through my Big Shot, I end it up with a panel as well as a frame. For this card though, I will be working with the frame. I have placed everything temporarily inside my stamping platform just to make sure that I'm going to stamp at the right spot. And by the way, I'm working directly on the card base. I have picked uh, the sentiment that says let's catch up soon and I'm going to stamp that on top of my card base with black ink. Now I'm using the puffy stickers and I'm going to create a composition of flowers and leaves and that uh, lovely hummingbird and I love that everything matches perfectly with the border around it. So I'm just um, cutting off the stems from these uh, leaves actually just to fit them nicely in uh, my card and the great thing about those puffy stickers is that uh, they are quite forgiving if you don't press them too hard on uh, your project so as you can see I can move things around until I'm happy with my composition and my card is finished
For the next card, I'm working on uh, a pattern paper and I really loved the design the first time I saw it. So I'm stamping one of the sentiments in the bottom right corner that says, hey there, good looking. And all I'm going to do to finish off this card is to stick some of the epoxy hearts on top of it, coming all the way from the bottom to the top. Also, this panel is uh, exactly the same size as a standard card, so it's going to uh, cover it up completely. Really quick and easy card. I am trying to create quick and easy cards using only products included in the kit. Now I have stamped uh, the Let's Catch Up uh, Soon sentiment on a white piece of paper and I have cut it on an angle which I have uh, stuck down on this pattern paper at the bottom. I'm, I have noticed also that uh, there are actually puffy stickers that uh, are the exact same designs as the designs on this pattern paper. So all I'm doing is just sticking those puffy stickers on top of uh, the um, printed images. So this is going to give some dimension on my card. And notice that I have also added some uh, glitter washi tape in between the sentiment and the pattern paper. You don't really need to do that if you don't have uh, glitter tape. I'm going to stick this panel on top of one of the grey card bases. A quick and simple card again, but so much fun. Now I'm going to use this pattern paper, which I absolutely love the design, and it comes in the kit in yellow as well. So you can create the same card in uh, different color combos. Now I'm going to cut it out in uh, to be four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm going to pick one of the sentiments and stamp it at the very bottom where the area with the darkest color is. So I'm going to go with a sentiment that says miss you like crazy. I'm stamping it with Versamark ink and I'm going to white emboss it. And you can see here I'm just using a good old stamping block. I was too lazy to bring out my stamping platform, but everything worked out uh, perfectly fine. I'm going to apply my white embossing powder and then heat set it. To embellish this panel a little bit more, I'm using some of these hard epoxy stickers in uh, yellows, greens and whites so that everything matches perfectly. I'm also going to add some dots with my white Nouveau drops. And uh, this card is finished. By the way, this is a standard sized card, so it's going to cover up completely a card front. And remember, you can make a set of these cards just because you get the same pattern paper in yellow. One of the things that I absolutely love about the card kit is that it gives me the opportunity to play with pattern papers. Pattern papers is something that I always loved and they don't seem to be trending uh, right now for cards. So it's uh, a great way to play with it whenever um, I get the opportunity with this card kit. Now I'm going to stick this uh, panel with uh, all those hearts on top of one of the orange card bases. And I have this piece of scrap from uh, card number 5 which I'm going to stick at the bottom. I also have a thin strip of uh, white paper and I'm going to stick that in between the pattern papers just to separate them visually there. And uh, this is a place where I'm going to stamp a sentiment later on. So I'm going to stamp there with black ink the sentiment that says I love your kind. And this comes from the Take Heart stamp set, the one with the hummingbird. And I'm going to choose one of the epoxy hearts and just stick it after the sentiment. So the whole sentiment now reads, I love your kind heart. And my card is finished. For the next uh, card, I am stamping my sentiment that says you are simply the best ever. Use the spring rain ink pad from the kit. And then I'm going to use a circle tie to cut it out. 
I'm going to stick my sentiment with foam squares on top of uh, a lovely pattern paper. And if you notice on uh, one side, I have uh, used some uh, washi tape, which I am going to remove later on. I didn't uh, like it as it looked, so just uh, forget about it. Now I'm going to embellish uh, this with a lovely yellow heart. And this matches perfectly some dots that are already on the pattern paper. I'm going to stick this panel on top of the blue card base. And now with my clear glitter drops, I'm going all over the letters just to give them some shine and some dimension. You can do that, of course, with glossy accents. Now I'm going to use Nouveau Drops that matches perfectly the yellow on the pattern paper and I'm going to add the dots wherever the yellow is. I'm not going to cover up everything, but I'm following the pattern there. And finally, we are at the last card for today. So for that, I'm using a piece of pattern paper that um, has these lovely motivational quotes on top. I'm going to stick that on uh, the blue card base and I'm going to embellish some of these squares with puffy stickers. I am using uh, deliberately some uh, bigger stickers so that they will cover up completely what's underneath. And I'm also going to add some of those uh, puffy little hearts in uh, random areas. And my card is finished. And here are all the 10 cards that I made for today using the Make Card Kit by Simon Says Stamp. I tried to use uh, only products included in the kit and I just added basic supplies such as black ink, some embossing or um, square and circle dies. Now this kit is a great stash builder so you can see after making all those 10 cards that I have uh, the inks for my stars, of course the two stamp sets. I do have lots of epoxy and uh, lots of puffy stickers left. I do have the envelope of course. Lots and lots of pattern papers that I haven't used yet and some uh, scraps. And of course I have the masking paper. And here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I made for today. You will find links to everything I used down below in the description area if you want to grab something separately. There is a giveaway on my blog, don't forget to go and enter your details for a chance to win this card kit. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely day!